G'day everybody, welcome back. I have some resin left and I thought I might just do this little heart shaped, funky heart shaped um, mold, coaster mold. So might as well, I haven't used this one I don't think. So let's go, I've got some, the resin is quite thick so it's going to be quite interesting how, how it goes. And what should I do? I'm, I might just do a... Just like a regular pour and let it slide down just the sides. It, it's thick because it's cold in here and also it's just starting to set a little bit. I'm working on my geode piece and I've got these left over. Let's give it a little heat. Just to help move it and then I might just go in with this right just a little bit so the design is going to be on the other side it's going to be interesting to see what happens here I'm going to pour in this whole thing of this taupe this is a new color so with this white it might go a little bit purpley pinky And I'm going to empty the whole thing. Like that. And then I'm going to go in and saturate it with the white. Might heat it up actually. I might pop in a couple of drops of metho in that to just to thin it down and you'll see it start to bubble up in there right here we go I'm gonna go from up high because I want it to push down oh beautiful this is a satin white And then we're going to go in with, I might just add whatever I have left here of this silver grey. So it's just, it's like a, it's not a metallic silver, it's just like a pearl silver. So it's got a nice, actual real nice shimmer to it. I'm trying to get all of it off. And then, yeah, we're going to go in with this uh, is a starburst shimmer in there. Can you see the shimmer? Actually, I might add some more to it. Just get another one. Just want to add a little bit more to it. Oh, Amelia, I can hear you. I'm coming. I'm nearly done. Okay, just give it a shake. Uh, no, I'll give it a shake. Now, give it a stir. And I can have a shake or a wiggle. Okay, there we go. In, straight in. Push it right out. Oh, that was lucky. I just made it. Oh, I've got to be careful, I don't overflow. Yep, that's it. That's it. Now I'm just going to just torch it a little bit, I think. There's a lot of bubbles. I will use the heat gun as well. I can already see just by looking at that 
the shapes and the patterns in here that underneath there all of those patterns are going to be sort of inside out like a like a negative uh, negative picture so you'll get those nice dragon or lacing of some kind you'll definitely have like a scaly effect so we'll wait for that to pull in and then um, I shall see you tomorrow when I unmold bye for now okay so that that negative image must have worked it, it definitely would have had to have worked somewhere in between the layers but I think because that uh, silver gray is just too thick it just didn't allow it to happen but even better because I've decided after a couple of days to use this uh, this coaster in another piece as part of that piece so I'm just going around with my uh, homemade pens pigment pens and some Posca pens and even um, a permanent marker there because um, you know I just wanted to create that and, and turn it into a sort of a, a geode looking thing so this is what really makes it just going around and uh, pulling those lines down the sides uh, on the edges um, that's really what I love about this little heart you can't even tell it's a heart can you um, just showing you little holes that I have there it doesn't really matter it's just because the bubbles you know um, the, the resin was so thick that uh, uh, the bubbles didn't get a chance to to uh, go, go up to the surface but look at those edges how cool is that so there it is thanks for watching bye for now